Most new car deals will be below MSRP and you can avoid huge dealer fees. Won't that be nice? Yeah. That's what's coming, folks. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. There's a huge reason we are recommending that all of you practice some patience and sit out of the car market right now. There's an abundance of information that supports us on this. Everyone wants to see new car deals drop below MSRP, and you want to see used car prices get more reasonable as well, and huge dealer fees to become a thing of the past. Totally. That's going to happen, folks. You just got to be patient for now and wait for the weather to warm up in June. <laughs> Think about something. The only people urging you to go visit a dealer right now are dealers themselves or people beholden to dealers, and that ought to tell you everything you need to know. They want you to come in now to save them from being starved in a turning car market and to burn your hard-earned cash before the car market collapse comes. Yes, and <laughs> since we clearly advocate for consumers, not for dealers, we aren't beholden to anyone to give you the wrong advice. There's something key to understand about a price bubble. When it pops, it takes time for the air to be let out of the balloon. And that's been our chief complaint with other creators here on YouTube. Headlines like this one get car buyers excited. The insane used car bubble is popping, what it means for the economy. Headlines like this only mean that reduced prices are coming, not that reduced prices are already here. This is news that must be given time or it never comes. A few notable facts. Used car prices skyrocketed during the pandemic due to stimulus and supply chain problems hampering production. Now, wholesale prices for used cars are tanking as higher interest rates impact demand and smarter consumers bulk at paying sky-high prices. Used car prices in free fall could spell some serious trouble for auto lenders whose lax recent underwriting helped fuel the used car bubble. Their stocks already are reflecting this. And finally, Here's what the popping used car bubble means for the economy and your money. The great American used car bubble and what you need to know about it. Used car prices exploded during the pandemic as millions of lockdown consumers unwisely spent their stimulus money on a new set of wheels. COVID was the perfect storm for the auto industry. Manufacturers canceled orders for semiconductors in 2020, expecting a deep recession while well, that backfired. Indeed. But around the world, governments printed money to stave off deflation, causing demand for new and used cars to surge. Because consumers weren't spending as much money on travel, live entertainment, or eating out, a disproportionate amount of cash ended up chasing cars. Normally, this would be something the manufacturing supply chain could adjust to. But work from home demand effectively sold out the market for computer chips, severely hampering the supply of new cars. More money flooded the market for cars too, and the big price bubble happened. Wholesale prices for used cars adjusted for seasonality, mileage, and age shot up roughly 70% from January 2020 to the peak in January 2022. Yeah. Crazy stories have come in over the past few years. People paying crazy prices for old vehicles with well over 100,000 miles that barely yeah. run. Dealers genuinely refusing to sell cars for MSRP and getting away with it because hapless car buyers financed the difference over six years. Mm -hmm. Selling flooded cars, and there may be way more of this after Hurricane Ian. And finally, forged car titles. But now, wholesale used car prices are down about 20% from the peak. Going forward, there's no compelling reason why used car prices shouldn't continue being closer to the pre-pandemic average. Because if there's demand, then manufacturers can produce to meet it and make money. Most people don't want to pay crazy prices for cars now without stimulus money lining their pockets. And manufacturers are going to sell as many as they can to the few people who still do. Don't be one of those people. <laughs> don't be one of those no. people. The real dilemma here, however, is that people aren't just forking over their cash in exchange for a car. In fact, 80 to 90% of new car buyers and around 60% of used car buyers take out a loan to buy their car, whether from their dealership, bank, or credit union, with interest rates surging and prices sky high for cars. The open question here is whether millions of people who took out loans to buy cars at inflated prices will default on their loans at higher rates than they historically have. Yeah. And there's tons of evidence that's exactly what's happening. If you are one of those people financing, see our recent video on why credit unions should be your first choice in lenders. Overpaying for a used car is a personal problem, but when millions of people overpay for cars, it also becomes a problem for other car buyers. In addition, it becomes a problem for banks and lenders as well, if enough of them default. For lenders who originated loans in the latter half of 2021, 
before the used car market began to tank, the underlying collateral is likely no longer worth enough to secure the loan. Right. Many car buyers who bought during this time are definitely upside down right now. Their car loan is underwater. Hopefully you're not one of those people. Hopefully not. From a recent Bloomberg report on auto lending space, Wells Fargo reported a higher loss ratio from auto loans in its most recent earnings call. Ally Financial, the company formerly known as GMAC before its 2008 bailout, saw charge-offs quadruple in the third quarter. Ally is forecasting that their level of charge-offs will only rise to 1.6% next year, but that forecast is a bit naive since the value of the collateral is in freefall. Fifth Third Bank Corp is reducing originations, likely because we, they are seeing the writing on the wall. As is many others. Mm -hmm. The big burning question right now is the used car market, the next subprime crisis. Mm. It's not likely to be a systemic risk, but it seems likely to punish lazy bankers and lenders that underwrite loans largely based on used car values rather than consumer credit worthiness. That's sure. insane. In this economy, it's likely that used car market is more of a symptom than a disease of consumers overly reliant on stimulus, long amortizations, and low interest rates rather than on their own earning power. Huge mistake. Mm -hmm. That's what you call financial ignorance that nets you a ton of problems. Of course, experts issued dire warnings about the used car market, calling for big losses for automakers and lenders as consumers shifted to EVs as well. But historically speaking, auto lenders aren't dumb. They take a down payment from the buyer, charge interest based upon the credit risk, and can repossess the car if the buyers don't make the payments. As far as collateral goes, used cars generally aren't too bad. But what's interesting this time around is that the actual collateral is really questionable, and loans were made at the inflated prices. Now that the value of used cars is crashing, besides dealers themselves, lenders may take unprecedented levels of losses. And you have to wonder how many of these loans are being sold on Wall Street and put on investors' balance sheets as super safe, when in reality the collateral is quite poor. For a counterpoint, Wolf Richter, founder of Wolf Street and formerly manager of a large Ford dealership, has always regularly covered the car market. Wolf is far less bearish on the auto industry at large, having recently covered the current shortages of fuel-efficient cars and EVs, and the glut of pickup trucks and large SUVs. He made the case that pent-up demand will help dealers and automakers increase sales. Due to these factors, we don't see a ton of systemic risk on the order of a 2008-style collapse with automaker bankruptcies or widespread bank failures, but the market is clearly sending signals of distrust regarding the rosy forecast of auto lenders that expects defaults to stay low and auto prices to simply level off. That kind of reporting is fake news in the attempt to keep car buyers in the market. Do not be fooled by it. Ally Financial is the biggest car lender in America, and their stock is down roughly 50% year to date. Capital One historically finances a lot of people who are lower on the credit spectrum. They're taking a beating right now too. And finally, used car kingpin CarMax may offer a pleasant experience for car buyers with their in-house financing, but recent shareholders aren't feeling all warm and fuzzy right now. What the used car bubble means for you? Most of you watching this video either own a car or have in the past. The market is sending you some very clear signals right now. And right now is a good time to sell a car. If you have an extra car you don't particularly need, now is a good time to sell it while prices are high and falling. This has been true for a while now. And number two, now is not a good time to buy a car with used car prices falling around 2% per month right now. The value of anything you buy is going to melt like a snowball in the sun. And number three, major used car lenders made a bunch of bad loans with used car values artificially high in 2022. Their shares are vulnerable to negative earnings and probable dilution if they take heavy enough losses. All of this news provides substantial proof that we are dead on the money for advising you to wait for it to collapse. Yep. It's coming. The snowball has started. Just don't be the person that's out there on the slopes while the snowball gets rolling. You are likely to find yourself trapped in financial disaster. If you appreciated today's show, could I ask you to do us a favor? Visit our Facebook page and leave us a review on what you've learned from us over the years. And then stop by our website too at thehomeworkguide.com. While you're there, if you're interested in the X caps and AMSOIL, that's where you're going to find the links to order. Our website is where we'll publish the information on these products in the future. Both products are great ways to save on gas expenses and keep your used vehicles running in tip-top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks, and we do appreciate each and every one of you for joining us. If you'd like to show some gratitude by sending a tip, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. So many of you have tipped us over the last 13 years. We really appreciate your thoughtful kindness. 
Just like a waiter at a restaurant, we're in the service business and totally voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. Sure. I also want to remind our viewers about our generous offer for free car buying assistance. It's not an automated line, folks, so you actually get us. You don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a silly and often ineffective car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be on standby the next time you visit a car dealer. We look forward to hearing from you. As you car shop, we will assist you with directions on how to get an out-the-door price, including all fees on your next car purchase. And yes, we're going to recommend that you get started with a local credit union if you're financing and no problem contacting us months before you're ready to buy. That's actually a good way to do it. Yeah. We can make you darn near bulletproof in that time frame. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on places like Facebook and Twitter. Thanks to all of you for coming back and to our faithful followers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.